I was thinking of songs that have fa in it. Like fa, a note to follow, so. Fa, la, 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 la. Psycho killer, kiss, kiss, say, fa, 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 better. Fasi, 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 Madonna, Madonna. Not a song, but I'll take it. And. Fuck you. <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions of course. I am not Fahad Fasil. Thank God. No, you would love that. He'd be here in the lair and you'd be talking to I him. I know, but it'd be a, such a downgrade. That's true. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter <laughs> for juicy content. Thanks on Patreon. Follow us to Twitter account. Subscribe hey, Patreon, if you hit the like wink, button. Wink. Nudge, nudge. A downgrade as in, if he was Fafa, I just probably wouldn't like Fafa. Yeah. Um, it's not It's not Fafa's fault. No. It's his fault. Look at his he's, face. He's probably your favorite actor without a beard. He's a mustache. It's kind of a beard. No. <laughs> it is. It is a mustache. It is, if you had a beard with no mustache, is that a beard? No, it's like. But a mustache is not kind of a beard. It's kind of a beard. No. Anyway, today we're doing a movie review. And uh, it is of the new film that just came out that is actually currently in theaters uh, called Mala Yan Kunju. Close enough for hand grenades. How would you say that one? Yeah. Mala Yan Kunju. Mala Yan Kunju. Yeah. Which is directed by Uh, Sajmon Prabhakar. Uh, written by and uh, DOP Mahesh Narayanan. Yes, and then uh, composed by our Nanbar a man. And uh, give it a rhythmic edge there. And I believe Fafa actually produced this one because it, it did say Fafa and friends in this one. It did, but also Fazil. Uh, Fa- yeah, I don't know if that's Faisal. Fazil, forgive me for yes. mispronouncing uh, that. But it's uh, starring Fahat Fazil. Uh, I mean, there's other there's people. There's other people, it. but they're co-stars. Yeah, it, this is a fa fa. I don't want to say star because that makes it sound like a different kind of film. Right, but it's 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 this fa fa's film. Yeah, uh, it's a, it's, a, it's there's films where the main character is the essential lead and everybody else is kind of supporting. And this is one of those one of those films. Yes. So uh, if you haven't seen it, go watch it. It's in movie theaters right now. It is on. It's really short <laughs> it, it feels really short uh, yeah it actually feels longer than it is because the runtime is almost two hours but it feels more like 90 minutes yeah <laughs> yeah it's uh it's right under two hours um so you can go watch if you've seen the trailer uh it's you'd think it's a um a, a kind of almost survival kind of film right and it is that a little bit but it is more than that as well um so and this will be mostly non-spoilers just because it's new and Correct. if we want to get into some spoils we will warn you before we do that we do not give stuff away like other reviewers no who uh, shouldn't do that because if they want to be storytellers they should get into filmmaking not making it reviews makes no sense. there's a lot of people that do like that they all, all do it all right and this is what happens in the film they all blah, do blah, it blah 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 seriously blah blah blah, blah, blah. yeah serious plot point serious plot point yep <laughs> without any disclaimers at now the front. Now you can go decide if you want to see it now that I just told yeah, you the and entire... and they don't put spoilers at the front to tell you. They just take it upon themselves to v- just vomit out what they saw and, and write out the entire story. Like, that's not a review. No, it's not a review. <laughs> that's, you're literally just telling the, like the Wikipedia notes. Morons. Anyways, Rick, your initial it's thoughts, a, It's please. a big pet peeve. Yeah. Um, I'll be surprised if you don't have the same thoughts that I do. Mm-hmm. So... I could not just write a paragraph about this movie. I could write a I book. fucking hated. Oh, sorry. Shit. And this is going to be a good one, guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's over. Goodbye, everybody. Go on. <laughs> it's, this is the best film of the year. You'd put this one over uh, the one we just saw. Yep. And um, the, the, well, the other one, in terms of artsy films, The, the Last Farmer. Yeah. And what about RRR? I mean, I know it's a very different film, obviously. That's, yeah. a, that's an entertainer. That's an entertainer. Because for, uh, for us, and for me... Uh, We're talking uh, artistic-wise. This talking is about me. elevative artistry that hit all five of the buttons for me at, at a level of, is it entertaining and engaging? Is it educational? Is it enlightening? Is it essential? And is it... Uh, um, I, I, I have so much to say. This, mm-hmm. this movie is loaded with... So much symbolism. In fact, it's really interesting that I, I've read some reviews. Like we saw Nope last night, and yeah, I, yeah. I had messaged you that yeah. all, all, it was me. 
Indrani, Alexis, Melissa, and and Micah. None of us liked it. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Um, wow. And I've read some reviews, and the, the, it's mixed. Yeah. And if you see, like, there's the Rotten Tomato score, but then there's like a, a 2.4 score for audience meter. So oh, it's, okay. it's it's for and the reason I'm bringing it up comparatively is like if someone were to say to me two things. First of all, which of the two movies did you go see? There's no question. See this. Hmm. See this, because the 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 symbolism and the analogies and the metaphor of because you expect that from Jordan Peele giving nothing away. I mean, you've got to know you're going to get that going in if you've seen Get Out and Us. Were I've I've read what other people who've loved the film mm -hmm. saw, and to me it just it it, it just it, it didn't work. Whereas gotcha. with this, mm. which I'll save most of it for the spoiler section, this movie is about everything. Mm. This movie is is literally about everything. <laughs> I can, I can, all at once. Yes, it. <laughs> In a completely, it's really strange, but in a very different way. This is everything, everywhere, all at once. In a, in a completely that's different the, way. That's the tagline. This film is everything, yeah. everywhere, all at um, once. I, I, there are so many categories that I feel this film would be... If this was just a normal release in the United States, this would have multiple Oscar nominations. Yeah. Um, so I absolutely love, love, love with all of my heart, love this film. Yeah, I, I really, really, really enjoyed this film as well. No surprise there. I, um, I didn't expect a lot. I expected it to be good because it's Fahad well, Fasil. Yeah, yeah. He, he does good stuff. Now, yeah. we could also walk away and go, didn't like the film, but loved him because he rarely ever does yep. bad work. I don't think he can. But yeah, the, the, this I, went way this, beyond this my film was very surprising because a lot of people, including I guess myself, thought it was going to be mostly a survival survival film. film exactly, which it was. You you do get that, yeah. But it is a lot more, and it, like Ooh. in terms of, um, I, yeah, I don't want to give anything away, but like they 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 take their time in this film, so just know that going in. They take their time and build these characters and why they do what they do, why and they're it's thinking so what they're important. thinking, and um, kind of the a lot of metaphors as you, you've talked about without giving anything away that you need in the first half um, before you you really get in because it's not a spoiler. They, stuff happens. You've seen the <laughs> no. It's, it's intelligent intelligence filmmaking. Yeah. Every little don't turn your eyes away and pay attention to every little thing because every little thing matters. One of the things I wrote right off the bat, and it just stayed that way the whole thing, one of the most underappreciated things in all of cinema is the work of the editor with the director and the cinematographer to maintain continuity. Guys. Well, it's one of the best editors in the business, I feel. Guys. They it's obvious when you're looking for things like he has a blood stain on his left shoulder and you want to see that there later, or there's a dent in the car and you want to see that there later. That's obvious. But the editing on this was so good, it made you think that a shot that had three setups was actually a three-camera shot. I was, I was flabbergasted sometimes, almost to tears, at literally, there was no way it was a three-camera shot, because like the desk is up against a wall yeah. and a window. Yeah. But he, with his right hand, he does something and turns to the right, and they edited it from the other side and matched it so perfectly that's the only way I can say it. it. The editing in this is flawlessly showing you something that makes you think it's a three-camera setup when it's three separate standalones. Yeah, the uh, the unbelievable cin the cinematography and editing on this. The cinematography done by the writer uh, Mahesh, uh, who we've seen many of his films. He was the director of um, uh, Malak. Uh, See you soon. Uh, Take off. I don't think he, was he the director or was he the editor. No, he was the director of Takeoff. Yeah, yeah. So we've seen quite a bit of him, and uh, but I think he's a cinematographer editor first. Well, it and shows. So that's, it's kind of why. Um, but obviously, it's not directed by this is a right, uh, right. Um, uh, but it's interesting because with the writing, clearly, it's wonderful to have a cinematographer do the writing because obviously you're getting storyboard right <laughs> in there. Because <laughs> I bet he writes the storyboard. Oh yeah, it's going to make it percent. really simple because when that script was written, all the shots were already in his head, and he's like, yeah, I, I bet if you saw behind the scenes or talked to them about that, it would shock me if he didn't already know exactly how Which he wanted to shoot is, this thing. is one of the best things, I think, because you don't get a lot of exposition with a cinematographer because they're like, I'm going to show you this <laughs> okay? I'm gonna, this, is, this is what I do. 
And so show don't tell. It'd be really interesting to to talk to him to see because obviously, what well, does he consider himself a writer first, a director first, an editor, for, a, a cinematographer first, or just all? He's like I'm I'm all of these things, but you know, it's just in my mind, just like Vishal, he's always going to have the music yeah f- at the forefront, right? Right. Uh, but it feels like he's always going to be like, no, I'm I have no, I'm the way I'm going to tell you what I'm. What's exactly. going on here? Which, by the way, we talk about this a lot. Obviously, that you shouldn't have exposition in the in the script. Very for rarely talking. Is it very, very rarely is that needed. You have to justify it because if somebody, if a character says something and the audience knows you're saying that to inform me as the audience member, you've obliterated the fourth wall. There is no more suspension of disbelief. It's just a poor way to carry the story forward. Yeah, and that shouldn't be confused with dialogue heavy films. Yeah, like Quentin Tarantino. You won't find heavier dialogue, but he never puts exposition in there unless it's a justified reason for doing so. Mm. Great writing. So, yeah, yeah. Oscar-level cinematography, editing, and sound design. Yes, the sound. Oh, this, my goodness. This film would win multiple, multiple sound design Oscars. This film would be, for me, this film would multiple. picture. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. So, this would, I think, deservingly and not surprisingly get nominations for um, actor, Picture, screenplay, direction, cinematography, editing, sound design, and you're including score the films that have come out in American cinema. I'm, I'm talking if this thing was just made and released as a Hollywood film. Mm-hmm. I think this would get at least eight nominations. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't be shocked in the slightest. Yeah, the sound design of this thing oh my was it's. The same way you rave about it in like war films, right? Because it's it's so difficult and it's so uh, it's something that's so powerful in those films because it, it really puts you like if somebody's getting shot or what what whatever's happening, it really puts you there. Especially in the second half of this, uh, without giving anything away, it really puts you in 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 the space that they're in. Yeah, in so many ways, and it's sound is such an important part of the storytelling in this film. How they shot. Some of those things. I know. It's once again not a spoiler. Oh, you've, you've seen this in the yeah, trailer. If you've seen the trailer, it's how they shot some of those things while they're under the ground. And not. And I not, just. I just. I know. I, I know. I know. We've seen the behind the scenes thing, and I know what they did. It's still, still just crazy impressive. It really is. And also, how <laughs> did they do that? It must have been a miserable shoot for Fafa. <laughs> sure. Well, I heard second. he got hurt. Yeah, I heard he broke his nose. Yeah, or something like he that. fell and broke his oh, nose, and I'm sure he was freezing most of the time. <laughs> he was. Second half of this film, but that, just wet. But I bet he, I bet he wouldn't have had it any other way. Oh yeah, you have. I mean, it's like that helps. Oh yeah. I mean that you, your just, ca- your character's suffering. So just like we talked about in, in, the, in the making of. Yeah. Uh, we could talk about Fafa right now. This, yeah. It was. This was an impeccable performance by Fafa, and obviously it, it was very different because he actually looked, even though he had a mustache, he didn't look like. And I, I'm I'm actually fresh off of watching uh, Kumbalanji Nights again mm. just about a week ago. Um. This is a completely different character, even though the look is decently similar to a lot of his other characters. He was holding his body differently, and he was he was moving differently. His mannerisms, his emotions were all different in this mm. film. So it's a, a, that's impressive enough. And um, that's I expect that right from Fafa. But what he did, I I a thousand percent believed he was trapped under the ground. I believed he was this person. Yeah, like the fact that like when he was in pain. I didn't see any like indicating. Never. I never saw a second of you know trying to make him look tired. Or, yep. I literally saw him just struggling. Do uh, it was it was so impressive. Obviously, the first half was was great as well, but the second half is a, is a, is a totally different thing, right? Mm-hmm. It's a totally different animal, right? But it could all by a lesser actor, you you'd be you could be. Like, I know you're you're not actually doing this. Yeah. No. I, it, 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 which is why it's. He, even though it looked miserable, he needed to do it. He needed to be wet all the time. He needed to like be in there with the mud and 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 the water and all that kind of stuff because it really it it didn't look like he was acting. <laughs> and no, he might not and, have been. <laughs> and I can't remember a character. It's one of his better performances. I think. I can't remember a character whose arc is as dependent well, on the sure. character thinking and being versus going through circumstances and talking to people and having things happen. Yeah. Because the majority of what you see happening that reveals who this man is and what he's dealing with and what is part of his backstory, his current 
challenges and what is his arc. For the most part, what you get are him showing you he's irritated about something mm -hmm. or showing you he just had a thought about something and got you frustrated. You see that thought. Yeah. And he doesn't have to... No, with very, very few words spoken. I, I can't recall... None. Other than other than a film where there's no talking, like the film um, with Robert Redford, uh, what's it, it starts with an A, where he's shipwrecked, and he only has one line in the whole film, and it's fuck. <laughs> That's it. It's a one man thing, and he's he's shipwrecked. Is that uh, what it's called? He's he stranded at sea. No, it starts with an A. Anyway. Anyway, that no, 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 no. Oh. That's that's the last time I remember seeing a character go through a character arc. But even then, while there's similarities, it's not nearly as complex and complicated as what you see depicted in this yeah. film. With again, in the spoiler section, the amount of symbolism that is profound, and I mean, this film doesn't just have symbolism in it from moment to moment or as a whole. There's almost frame after frame after frame of symbolism of things that are speaking to the very deepest, most important things about life now and always. I, I can't say more than that. Yeah, <laughs> you don't but, want to. But see this freaking movie. Yeah, see this movie. Uh, uh, the one of the only things that I, I could, uh, that in my personal preference, wanted to do differently, I would have liked. Even though A. Ramon did an impeccable job with the score, I thought the, uh, all I thought those, the score was I thought, magnificent. It was, I thought a lot of the music was absolutely beautiful and gorgeous. There was just sometimes that I wished it was almost silence more. Uh, uh, and there, there were times that there were there was, there was silence. <laughs> I'm not saying there wasn't, but it was just there were certain times that there was score behind it, and I was like, oh, I kind of just wish this was. Like, oh, if, yeah, if I, I was that. if I was doing this, mm -hmm. I would have put no score just so you can feel a little more claustrophobic, a little more or whatever the, at the moment. It was first and second half. That's like the only thing that I could have nitpicked at. Yeah, the reason it worked for me is because I don't think that claustrophobia was the primary communication. Oh, I'm device. not just talking about that part. I'm yeah. talking about. The, the rest of the film too in terms of I think sometimes no score or under stuff makes a, a moment more powerful it uh, can uh, a lot of times uh, but that's like if that's that's me nitpicking there's literally nothing else I can nitpick about this film yeah I have no nitpick uh, it's, it's 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 a really 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 good film and please go watch it in theaters because I wish we got it in theaters here the closest theater was 50 miles away 80 kilometers uh, and it was at 9.45 at night I would have uh, fallen asleep on the road and died yeah uh, <laughs> I have two newborn twins at home, so unfortunately. But if you have an opportunity to go see it in theaters, please, please do. do. Because one, the sound design in a theater and the cinematography of this thing needs to be seen in a theater. Yeah, because you can feel it at a level that we can. I mean, we do everything we can to... I do everything I can, like my headphones and volume. Yeah. And I have a good sound system It's all here. mixed that way. Yeah, so... Um, but, yeah. And, but, and the other reason, not just for the experience of it in theaters, but to give everyone who put their life into this thing back money so that everybody can see the box office receipts show this is what audiences want to see. Mm -hmm. They'll make more of them. I mean, Fafa's going to make what he's going to make regardless of whether you buy a ticket because he's an artist and that's yeah. what artists do. However, the people that he talks to who will give him bankroll when he doesn't bankroll it himself need to know they'll get money on their return. This movie deserves multiple, multiple, multiple times over what was spent to make it. Yeah, I totally agree. So please go watch it. We're going to get into spoils now. So if you haven't seen it, please go watch it. Yeah, go watch and, it. And come don't back. come in. So I know the stuff Spoil you want. I know the stuff you want to talk about. What do you want to talk about? Because you would just let's talk okay. about the thing you were just asking about the the the, the symbolism of this. Okay, of it all. So. It's got, where do we start? I don't know. There's a lot. <laughs> Once again, this, spoilers. Because this has everything. This has personal morality. Mm -hmm. This has uh, cultural acceptances and prejudices. This has religious biases. This has generational aspects of connectivity this has climate change this has some of the symbolism goes across the gambit in multiple 
religions, there's a lot of Christian symbology. Yeah. Um, I guess the one to start off with first of all would be the, the personal journey of Fafa's character. Yeah, and that's why the first half was uh, so incredibly needed. Yeah, uh, in this film because it all hinges on his journey. So yeah. everything else is kind of offshooted. That I, core I, of of I his saw symbolism. some people say that the first half was slow, which I I didn't I didn't believe so. And they were like they could have cut it. I'm like it was it was if you were paying attention, it was incredibly needed. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the reason why this isn't just a survival film. This is a lot more than a survival film. Some things in life are meant to be slow. Yes. Like sex with your mother. Anyways. <laughs> you don't gulp down a glass of wine unless you're a freaking barbarian. You don't uh, gulp down a glass of scotch unless you're Corbin Miles. Yeah, that's true. You don't uh, just make love to your wife by just sticking it in for two seconds and getting it over with and she doesn't care. What? You don't. Man, I'm doing uh, it wrong. <laughs> and some, there's a reason that a lot of people can go to a museum and stand and look at a, a, a piece of art for a half an hour and nothing happens but you looking at this piece of art for half an hour. If you think that's too slow, you're uncultured. Period. Yeah, so I just wanted to say that. Sorry. Um, but yeah, the, the 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 journey he took and the symbolism that happened throughout uh, this film in terms of his his journey and then the symbolism of the, the little girl and Fafa almost becoming the child again, which obviously we kind of oh, we kind of picked up on in the, in the trailer a little bit. But it, it was incredibly powerful. In, in this. yeah, it it I some of my notes I just wrote. In, in the sporadic moments because I didn't want to take my eyes off the screen. Um, I, first of all, in sound design, because you guys who worked on sound design, and I'm sure it was under the specific direction, I don't know, it was collaborative for sure, but the, the symbolism, the constant combating of not just the sound, but what we got to see, there was this constant fight going on between electronics and nature, mm -hmm. between the electrical and the water. And there is big symbolism, and it's a massive part of Fafa's character's arc. There's a reason at the end of the film he doesn't need a phone. That's not a mistake. And there's a reason he was so absorbed in the technological, and there's a reason why he has that flashlight with him through the whole thing. And there's a reason why there's lights that work in the water that shouldn't really work that way. So that, that in and of itself was a lot. Because water and electronics don't go well together. Uh, there was lots of food and drink. Did you notice there's just a whole lot of food and drink? Uh, stubbornness, selfishness, bitterness, isolation, prejudice, all result in self-created crushingness. That alone is emblematic within the film of his character being a guy who's very much and it's wonderful because as much as he can be a dick yeah your heart goes out to the guy because he's had a hard life his sister he's he, had a he really hard life blames his sister for the death of his father yep now he has killed his mother yep <laughs> Because of his stubbornness. I, I, I don't think he likes doing what he does other than it's a distraction from that life didn't go the way he wanted it to go. Mm -hmm. um, he's prejudicial. Mm -hmm. He doesn't like people based on cast. Yep. At the beginning of the film. Yep. Um, so, and, and, and the fact that he gets where he is, there is, I mean, he literally is where he is because of what he's done. He's the one who said, we're not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. But that's just the small decision. The larger thing is that, that metaphor of these attributes in your morality will only result in crushing, death-dealing isolation. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what did you think about the, uh, the scene with his father when he first got down there? Oh, it's magnificent. I thought that was because it was so unique. Because I was like, "What is this? What is going on?" And I was like, "This has to be just in his mind, yeah, of, of what's going on." But it was a brilliant scene between those two actors. Yeah, uh, I thought it was a great symbolism, a good use of of something it, like that. It was, and the, so the symbolism there of also we talked about this of of the 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 it's 
and it was really big in the film is the embryonic aspect, right? Mm. So that moment with his dad, I wrote down in my notes, embryonic. In order for him to see beyond himself and his prejudices, he had to die to self and be reborn. You don't have to wait for another life to evolve. Mm. And that was something where, like, I don't remember the exact line, but the line of yeah. when his dad says, when we're dead, there's no more cast. So in other words, when you measure things based on life and death, what what good does discriminating against anybody? And I thought about that. In a natural disaster, does anybody stand outside of a natural disaster and decide who to save based on their cast or their skin color or their gender? You'd hope not, but who knows? You would hope not yeah, because they're human beings. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. the fact that this was... This is not like a true storytelling, but this yeah. is based off of a real event exactly. that happened that yeah. they put a fictitious so, story on. And I wrote, you know, it ought not require the earth to move to get us to change our perspectives, but that's literally the earth needed to move under his feet to get his perspectives to change. And hopefully you don't need to go through that experience. You could just watch this film and have it rattle your cage. Um, it's too late to show respect when they're dead. Um, the stuff that was the a lot of bib I know there was a lot of symbology of Hinduism throughout this as well as there may have been as well of other things like Islam but yeah. I'm most familiar with Christianity and the things that I don't know if it was intentional but this little light of mine was shining the whole time <laughs> they have pierced my side and he kept saying his hands were also hurt yep. a little child shall lead them the scripture that talks about Jesus descending into the lower parts, and then he literally is risen from the dead. Yeah. <laughs> literally watch him raise from the dead. And there was multiple times where like you it almost looked like he was being birthed. Yes, born exactly. Again, and I of, understand, you know, I understand that the resurrection, that the story and symbology is not exclusive to I know about Osiris and all of those things. So I'm not making it exclusive to that. I'm just telling you what I'm most familiar with. I mean, Kerala does have a, a big Christian population yes yes careless. yes and that, i think it was, that would make sense it would make sense and then for all of our technology we've not only lost touch with humanity this is the electronics versus earth yeah that for all of our technology we've not only lost touch with humanity but we've damaged it and the earth itself is revolting against us and pawnee represents not only the next generation but the very thing he wanted to shut up he now wants to hear the most yeah and I looked it up. Do you know her name, what it means, no, the symbology? No, I didn't that, that one up. It means Golden River, but it's referring to the Kavari River that runs through South India. It almost runs through the whole of South India. Oh, really? And so she is like representative of the this life begetting, and it's also connected to goddess that connects everybody. Mm. And how the very thing, it's interesting... He was playing worship music to stop hearing the sound of the representation of all things good and connected. You know, he was playing that to stop, to annoy the neighbors with the uh, crying baby. He's well, playing, it was a worship song was it? he was playing. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't, I didn't catch yeah. that part. So when that symbology for me, I, I, I'm sure you didn't, but there, I cried twice. Oh, no, I did not. <laughs> I, I cried when he finally gets to her. Yeah. Because when he cries, he's not just crying because, at least I don't believe he's crying because he found the baby. Yeah. He's crying because he's repentant. He's recognizing what he almost lost and what it took for him to finally see the world through the eyes of love in the right way. And how he let his bitterness and his brokenness and his prejudices to miss possibly the most important lesson in life and and there she was and then it got me again like after they pulled back i thought and i saw them come on a new scene i thought oh no what are you gonna do yeah you could have ended it right there but when he sees her and goes into the room and says her name again it just it it, it hit me again and that's because of fafa that's because oh, of how yeah. good fafa is yeah he's i was so entwined with him just an incredible form. when they pulled back and it showed the magnitude of the landslide I was like, holy shit. Yep. And apparently landslides are a thing in Carroll yeah. that happen a lot. All the that whole uh, yellow warning, red warning, that's like standard uh, normative life for them during the rainy seasons. And, and these and things happen. And shout out to the... Um, to the set design people. I know we talked about it in the in the in the making of video. 
but man, did that just look so good and authentic? Not, the, a, not what, a flaw. What they created, and it was probably such a blessing for Fafa. Oh to, yeah, to have oh. something that practical. Yeah, and it not be like green screen or, or whatever. Yeah, um, but it, it's that's difficult. That's not difficult. an easy undertaking. No, and to, and all of the debris which they needed to make look real, and it you know it conveyed the symbolism of man's just horrific waste like the plastic bottles that's yeah. intentional that wasn't yeah. just put in there to make it look like junk that was to show you the, the here's mud and water and human and plastic as well as electrical lines um and it's a, it's a it's truly astonishing yeah that they got that look because every frame looked and felt like we were underground with him yeah and the way it was brilliant so if you're writing this one of the challenges you've got to be thinking about is so how do i make this lit for everybody to see and justify it without showing all the lights of course yeah without yeah. showing all the lights how do i make it lit under there with all this water so i can't have a fire or a flame if i have electricity why isn't he getting electrocuted they did it yeah. They did. <laughs> so then that's so many people, obviously, from the director to the cinematographer to the to, to production design people to... Lots of eyeballs on that. So many people. It takes... Those are some of the most talented and some of the most underappreciated people. The people that build sets and also the camera work people to that, that especially in stuff like this, that is such a oh my goodness, yeah space and you just, you feel claustrophobic in it and you, you it's just, it, it's so powerful and just works incredibly well, but it's also not easy to shoot because if it's not shot well in terms of the cinematographer and the, the, the camera work and the directing, it could look fake. It, it really look, can. It could look terrible. And you could have continuity issues where you had to do two completely different setups on maybe two different days, but the debris and stuff has to be in about the same spot. You can't just suddenly have something floating next to his right side while you're here, and on screen time, it's one second, but then the next day you shot from over here, and the bottle that was by his side is now way over here where you didn't see it move. Mm -hmm. It's a credit to everybody as well as just, uh, and sincerely, not just for the visual aspects, but for the best boy and everybody involved in the engineering of the electrical. I don't know what y'all did to keep everybody safe in the water yeah. and still have electric light, but kudos to you. Yeah. I'm assuming nobody had any problems because you guys were literally dealing with life and death in there with all of that water and all that electricity. Incredible. You know, this is one of uh, Aramon's first Malayalam films in a long, long, long time. I did not know that. I want to say, like, no. at minimum 15 years. No, but I found I, his... I, I, wonder what made, score, I wonder what made him want to go back. The score was so good that I sat through the totality of the credits just to listen to the score at the end. Yeah, it was a beautiful score. I, I, I listened to the entire credits as well, just because it was, one, it was, it, it was a powerful film in terms of just... Yeah, you, you want to sit. You, you want to meditate on it Absolutely. for a little while, and and really think about what you just watched. Yep. And then, but obviously, Aramon, he he puts so many unique touches on his compositions, um, and it was so different from everything he's ever done, which is no surprise. But it was just. The, like they said, the only gripe is that sometimes, not that it was, I didn't like it, it's just I wished there was less at certain points because it, it maybe, I think it's just a style preference for me. Mm. Sometimes I just want a little silence because I think that helps a little bit. Mm. But that's, I like, can't think of anything else in this film that I could, <laughs> that I could gripe about. Like, like no VFX, no, like, no nothing. Yeah. Was, you, you know, we had, you had said comparing it to RRR. I mean, which is the one I want people to come over and we're going to have a really good time and drink some beers and laugh and enjoy and be mesmerized by the performances? R, R, R. Yeah. What's the one that I want everybody to watch forever and not forget because the message is so important for people to be better people? Yeah. This. <laughs> well, it's been, a, it's, been a, it's been an incredible week for us in terms oh. of just the two films that we got to see. It's two small films as well, but two incredibly powerful different films. Yep. Uh, and that it's that's wonderful. I just wish we would have gotten to see both of them in theaters as uh, well. I know, me too. I think that would have been really, really cool, and also be able to support 
um, like we want to. It's just but very, very, very grateful we got to see it. Yes. Um, so let us know what you thought about the film. Uh, and uh, to everybody, if you, because uh, a lot of times, like DPs or, or uh, the supporting actors or whoever will comment on these videos. It's like if you if you worked on this, uh, you should be proud. You should be very, very proud very, of this film. Very, very proud. And I hope, because um, I know obviously Indian cinema is going through something right now in terms of you know what's working at the box office, what's not working at the box office. I know this doesn't have the, the budget of like a Brahmastra or anything like that, but I hope this makes a ton of money so people, they, the people in the industry realize that people want to see original good stories like this. But yeah. I feel like what, 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 the Malayalam industry knows the, that already. They know that. And the thing that also lets me sleep at night, knowing that the, this art form is in good hands, is that this man, Fahad Fasil, has said he makes movies based on the stories he wants to tell. He doesn't make decisions based on box office. While he does have to think of it as a business, I am convinced that this man's heart is, is an artist and he will never make a decision about something whether or not it's going to be making money. It's going to be whether or not he thinks it needs to be made. Mm -hmm. And I love that about him. So irrespective, I think nobody could see this. It doesn't change a thing about how he feels about it. And it doesn't change a thing about what he's going to do next. And that makes me very happy. Yeah, and I'm, gl <laughs> I'm glad because obviously I was worried there for a while that if it would come out or not. Because it was we saw the trailer in the beginning of the year, remember? I do. Yeah. Uh, Pushbot 2 is not coming out this year. That's a lie. That is a lie. There's no way Pushbot 2 is coming no out. No way. Day, unless they filmed it at the same time. Yeah, uh, that's, that's possible. I'm just trying to, I'm, I'm looking at what he's doing next. I just want to, he has two other films that are slated for 2022. Not a surprise. He doesn't need to do, <laughs> he maintains the pace that all the Indian actors used to do back in the 90s. But you know what's impressive about that? Like, it's all good. I know. It's really <laughs> astonishing. <laughs> It's incredible. It's really astonishing. It's really incredible. Anyways, let us know what you thought about the film. What should be our next fa-fa film down below? <laughs>